How's it going, guys? Welcome back to the channel. All right, so today we're going to be talking about um, the differences between German police and the police in the USA. I did do a video yesterday, and I got a call right in the middle of it, turned off my mic, and needless to say, didn't get half of half of the content, so I had to redo it. Well, I'm not redoing it. I'm doing a new video, and that'll just go into my bloopers um, category. But, uh, yeah, we're checking out these guys. I don't know. I checked out their channel. I'm not sure if they even do videos anymore, but they seemed really interesting. So, let's do this. Welcome to Germany vs. USA. Today, we're going to talk about the police. And I will say, I have not had good experience with the police. I don't know why. I'm not a very, um, you know, I don't get in a whole lot of trouble, but they just, they're not very friendly. So, I mean, that adds to it, but, yeah. We have one or two police agencies here. A little, a couple, a few. Maybe one or two thousand. Or three or four thousand? Or what is it, like seventeen thousand? Seventeen thousand different police agencies. Which makes it really hard as a foreigner when you're in the States to figure out where you can do what or you're not supposed to do what. So let's name a couple of them. So you have like the big boys, you have like the CIA, right. and then under the CIA, and that's Central Intelligence Agency. And, uh, and then you have like under that, you know, NSA, you right. people hear about that. And then you have like the FBI. And the NSA is probably also going to hear. Us. Yeah, oh yeah, NSA is listening right now. Um, but then you got the FBI, uh, then you have, let's see. Um, state police. State police. Mm -hmm. um, you have U.S. Marshals. You have um, county police. County, county police. police. Homeland Security. ATF, which ATF is alcohol, tobacco, firearms. Mm -hmm. um, ABC, which is alcohol beverage control. Right. You have... Um, Sheriff, DEA, DEA, Drug Enforcement Agency. Yeah, I'm not sure if they're talking about uh, Germany or America right now, but that's pretty much uh, that's pretty much America as well. Looks like Jim on the left is from Germany, maybe, and he is from America. Is what is what I got out of it. Agency. Campus police, like yeah. for university campus. Right, right, you do have university police, you right. have... The donut um, police to make sure that the donuts are of good quality. And you have, like, organizations, too, like the TSA for, like, in the airports. Mm -hmm. and So you have lots and lots of different types. Like sub kind of yeah. agencies. But the biggest thing is when you're dealing with, like, state police or mm -hmm. county police. And each state uh, is different, too. And so they uh, the, the laws in the states change. Um, but the way they're... they're Policed is pretty much the same, mm -hmm. but um, you can run into some differences and some jurisdiction issues. Um, like, I know a guy who got a DUI. So driving under the influence, so he was drunk while driving. Right. And when yeah, there's DUIs, driving under the influence, and then there's OWIs, which is operating while intoxicated. Don't know the difference between those two. Um... When he got his DUI, he made just some stupid, stupid decisions, uh, and he gave his brother's ID to the cop. Oh, no. And then he pretended to be his brother, and then they figured it out, and so he got arrested and got hit with big penalties, like, mm -hmm. I mean, in real trouble. And so, basically, when his lawyers and everything got involved, it came down to the fact that a sheriff had pulled him over in this, out of his jurisdiction. Out of the sheriff's jurisdiction. Right. Okay. And so, but, you know, he had broken so many laws, they weren't going to just let him go. So it's not like in Hollywood where you're like, oh, he's completely out of his jurisdiction. We're throwing this case. You know. Okay. It doesn't exactly work that okay. way. He had to plead down to just the DUI. Okay. And then, um, and because, and then they let everything else go. Everything else was dropped, like right. false document, whatever the kind of thing right, they charged yeah. him with. Okay. And so, See, so, I don't really know... Um, I, I've never really, I don't know anybody that's done that. I've never done it myself, but, um, I feel like the consequences would 
be way greater in America than Germany. I don't know, but I, that's that's what I was thinking. But you do, like you'll see like in movies here, like the CIA and the FBI were like fighting at other stuff. Who's responsible? Who was supposed to take the case? Right, right. and it's and or like you know like um, city like Metro Police because they'll have like different units like fighting or stuff. It's really not that way. Okay. It's more. Um, they're pretty organized. Okay. Uh, they're, they're on top of their stuff. Yeah. Okay. Jurisdiction in Germany, I don't think it's that big of a deal. We have a couple of different polices. We have, you know, like the, the, the I guess, normal Schutzpolizei, which is the police that you see, like, on the road. Then you have the, um, the Kripo, Kriminalpolizei, which is more, you know, like, for more severe cases, I guess. You have the Bundespolizei, which is for, I guess, like, also border patrol. And, you know, I have, like, the Autobahnpolizei, but... Really, you mostly only see the one guys around, basically, the one police. Wait, did he say Audubon police? I'm gonna go back a few seconds. Hi, but really, you mostly only see the one guys around, basically, the one police. Polizei, which is for, I guess, like, also border patrol, and, you know, I have, like, the Autobahn Polizei, but really, you mostly only... Yeah, what is that? If anybody knows, let me know down in the comments. You see the one guys around, basically, the one police. Whereas if you walk around like an American city, you will see different kinds of cop cars every once in a while, right? And the jurisdiction also, I don't think that's that big of a deal. Whereas in the U.S., you really got to, as a foreigner, it's really difficult. Because first, the states all have different laws, right? Right. And then you never know who, who is responsible for doing what or what you cannot do. Where it's, like, it's really, really complicated to figure that one out. Yeah, it's a lot bigger deal to break a law in Texas. Mm -hmm. Then it may be in like New Hampshire. Okay. You know, like. <laughs> Why? <laughs> so, you, Texas, huh? so you have, you know, like different. I mean, it's, yeah, each state's different. Um, especially when you're in the South, mm -hmm. more conservative part of the country, um, breaking a law is a bigger deal than if you're in a different part of the, the country. Mm -hmm. And I mean, breaking a law is still a big deal, right. but yeah, it's governed <laughs> a little stricter, you know, more strict down here. Yeah. But also. Yeah, and I don't, I don't really get that. Like here in Indiana, it's uh, I don't know how they they judge these people, but I mean, I've I've ha I've seen judges give probation to kids that uh, made up this whole thing about a, a school shooting. I uh, was gonna do a big school shooting, had everything planned out and ended up being getting probation for it and then also in that same jurisdiction it's a hard word to say um somebody got sentenced for uh hitting three kids getting ready to go on a bus well hitting four kids three of them died and then the other one survived but he had like a big really long road of road to recovery but uh she only ended up doing six years in in prison um and i think i think that's crazy because i mean i've had my my spouts with the with the police and you know, i've done dumb stuff when i was young but uh i served a lot more time than that lady did Killing three children, then I mean it's, it's just crazy. Like I, I don't, I don't get it. And mainly why I, ch I chose this video, not this one specifically, but just police in general, is because I've just been really frustrated with um with the police. Like I'm pretty much a homebody. I stay home. I go to work. I come home. That's that's pretty much what i do if i if i'm leaving it's going to the store or going to work and in a matter of one month i've been pulled over five times like literally five times and i got the proof right here all these tickets and warnings and stuff um and it all started every single one of these is because of a headlight and um i've i've asked him to give me a little bit of time, and every time they've seen me, they've they've pulled me over. So now I have to do all these court issues. I have to go to court for improper headlight, and 
uh, they ended up getting me for, uh, I'm a smoker, but I mean, I shouldn't have had, had it with me, but it is what it is. And so, but with all of these, they've pulled me out of my vehicle, searched, searched my person and my vehicle, had me out on Main Street, standing on the curb while they're searching my vehicle, three cop cars behind me, um, over a headlight, um, and it's just like, what the heck, these are the same two, two officers too, that just keep on pulling me over, and they'll be like, hey, uh, do you know your headlight's out? Yes, you you pulled me over last week and told me I just need a little bit of time. It's not just the headlight. It's the it's the mechanical thing. It's like it's fixed now, but um, it was just like with everything going on, it, it it's just really chaotic and it was really really cold at that time. So it just we just couldn't get to it. And uh, they'll pull me over, asked if if I know, and I say yes. Explain the situation. And they say they ask if they could search my car and. Uh, I say no, and then that's when they, they'll get the dog out, and I'm telling you, like, it is ridiculous, and it's embarrassing, too, like, it, it was uncalled for, it really was, and so that's why I picked a video like this, because I just kind of wanted to see other countries, um, in the video I'd done before that, which I'm going to put on my bloopers, uh, they were talking about how uh, it was just really scary as an American living in Germany, getting pulled over by the cops, and um, she was just really, really scared because she thought she could get a ticket, and she's going to get in trouble because she was a foreigner, and she's going to get asked for her passport, and like all this other stuff, and it was just a really simple like just a simple please stop and the police were nice to him and she was just in awe like she just didn't she was not expecting that at all because in america it's way different and so uh that was a really good video and i'm so mad that my audio went out halfway but i, I will put the link into the description if you guys want to check that that video out because it's actually really good and it's by another person that started YouTube. She has a few good vi like the ones that I've seen. They're really good. Um, but I don't think she does YouTube anymore either. So, uh, yeah, I'll put the link in the description. You guys could check it out. I was just thinking because you said your 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 buddy who got the DUI. He was arrested, right? So he went yes. to jail for like a night or something. Or yes, and then for a couple of nights. For a couple nights while they were figuring out what was going on. Right, you will get arrested in the states fairly fast for, for I guess, for German standards. And if you want, in order to get arrested in Germany for a couple of nights, I mean, you probably need to cut someone's head off or something, I don't know, like your arm, because like, if, if you get a DUI, you will not get arrested for, for that. I mean, they give you a ticket or something, um, and they ask you to take a cab or anything, but to get arrested in Germany, you gotta do yeah, something severe. You can wow. That's crazy. Yeah, we would definitely be arrested. Can get booked pretty quick here. Get booked? Yeah. Okay, that means to get arrested. Again. Yeah, so yeah. like to get processed, to get in the database, mm -hmm. and, you know. And also, uh, you guys like to taste things. And like to oh, yeah, things. yeah. <laughs> yeah, now, um, and that, yeah, that brings me to a question. So, because like our police, they'll have a taser, right. they'll have, you know, a gun, maybe two. Tommy bomb, and, right? You know, they'll ha yeah, they'll have um, a billy club. Um, but in, in Germany, you'll see. I guess it just kind of depends, but you don't see <clears throat> police with guns as often as you do here. I mean, in, I think within cities, they usually also have a gun or they have, pe have pepper spray. Um, but I guess it's perhaps not that in your face. And they don't use it as often. I, I read an article the other day um, that uh, it was it was actually an American article. And they were stunned by how little bullets were used are used by the German police. It was about the year 2011. And in the year of 2011, the entire German police force used 85 bullets. 85? 85. Wow. That's, uh, half of those were just like warning shots, basically. Yeah, that's like a morning on an L.A. beat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, I mean, what you doing? What you doing? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't, I have no idea what the American number is. Yeah, but, um, 
It's way more than 85. And I think the yeah. policemen, whenever they fire, like use the firearms, they have to write a huge report about how they used to, where they used it. And um, so, yeah, German police, they don't use the firearms very often. Yeah, I know. In yeah, and so now I think most of our police officers have um, cameras. Well, in Indiana, they're supposed to have uh, cameras on them. So most, uh, I don't know if it helps. I don't know if they use them. To be honest, I should check into that. In the U.S., you're supposed to like write a report, same, same thing. Same thing. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, way more often. Mm-hmm. It's also because there are more guns around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, and I, I think too with, with that like the the way like the Germans police, mm -hmm. like the first time I went to Germany, I'll be honest, mm -hmm. I I was you know eighteen, I was coming in from Poland, I'd never been to Germany before, and really didn't know anything about Germany um, at that point in my life. Mm -hmm. And except like the stuff you hear about like World War Two, oh, nice. you know, yeah, and so like, then, yeah, so I'm coming in from Poland <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, and uh, coming to Germany and the German police, you know, get on the train and I was very nervous. Sure. And um, but then, you know, spending time and in, in, in learning more, um, really, it's I've never had a problem with a German police officer mm -hmm. or, you know, or been harassed by one mm -hmm. or anything. And same with an American police. Like if you're doing. If you're not being like a slappy, no, no. you're you, they're gonna just leave you alone. Yeah. Yeah, in ours, they think they are above and above everybody else, and that's that's really really annoying. Like they don't treat you like a human being, and it's you're innocent until proven guilty, and that's how they should be treating you. And they don't like it's completely like if you get in trouble, you're guilty. You're being treated like shit. Yeah, I've had good experiences. The only, I guess, mediocre experience I had was with, was um, in 2006, I guess, when I when I uh, went to the United States the first time. Um, Homeland Security at the airport, uh, going through customs or immigration, they were really, really. They took like half an hour to investigate me. Went through my laptop, went through my emails. Um, that was the only time where I felt a little insecure. Yeah, they do that. Uh, they actually have sh a lot of shows like uh, Border Patrol and like shows like that that they actually show the process of what they do in the airport. Um, I mean, they have like agricultural, agricultural um, police. Like, if you have any fruits and vegetables, they check over that. So it it gets pretty intense. But. Besides, I guess that was because I had a visa and they want to make sure I'm not like, you know, immigrating or like doing something weird here. Uh, but besides that, it was all good. Like I had a good experiences. I got nervous coming back into Germany once because I may or may not have ever stayed. A couple days. <laughs> and uh, when I was coming in, I was worried about getting flagged. And then they're like, nope. Welcome back. Hello, American. Oh, yeah. nice. <laughs> so I was like, yes. Buy some sauerkraut and have a nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the German police is organized. Yeah, I kind of always wondered. I wondered that uh, how they do that. If if you are late coming back, like is it a fee or a fine that you get? But obviously, it may just be person to person or whoever the police officer is. But he got he got out of it. Lucky him. Organized by state, so you know the sixteen German states. They will, they have, you know, they're responsible for each of their police, basically. Um, and what you might see, actually, you will see some police officers in parts of the countries that will have the black uniform, kind of a little bit like the American style uniform, I guess. And then in some states, I think it might just be actually Bavaria left. They will have like a really nice looking yellow mustard kind of colored um, uniform. So they're all police, basically, but they have just different kind of uniforms, I guess. Do y'all have undercover police? Um, I'm sure, but I, I, mean, I think they, will, they use undercover people like for certain investigations, I guess. I mean, the Autobahn police side, for instance. Yeah, the, the, well, more, I'm thinking more because we have unmarked police cars mm -hmm. um, where they can pull you over. And mm -hmm. so... Yeah, they can do that, the Autobahn police side. Okay. They, they will do that, yeah. And, okay. you know, they were sitting in there, had like cameras or whatever. But... Um, and then, again, for like special investigations, I guess, they'll do that, but you don't run into them very often. And then, of course, you wouldn't know if you run into them because they are undercover. So, I guess, um, I don't know. I don't think that much. Yeah, uh, we do a little bit. Um, in some organizations, depending on what state you're in, mm -hmm. maybe like the ABC, 
like may come into a bar and then uh, was, what the again, what alcohol was... beverage control. Okay. And they'll come into a bar and just walk up to you and ask you for your ID. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. And then like. Yeah, so they do that with uh, people go in gas stations and. Yeah. Underage. I'm gonna have to move this. Um, underage and get cigarettes. Anybody that looks under the age of forty is supposed to be carded. And take people. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> if you're underage, they'll hit you with like an MIP, which is a minor in possession. Okay. And so, but a lot of abbreviations going on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, but. But yeah, for the most part, you know, our police are uniformed, and there's lots of different uniforms because of so many. So what's the, um, what do people think of the police? Is it like a highly regarded job or not? I, I think, I think it is. Yeah. Um, I think whenever you're in, like, that type of position, you're going to have, like, you know, that, like, a, some pushback. I mean, civil rights movement, uh, some stuff that went on in L.A. in the 90s. Right. I mean, they haven't always been on the right side of things. Right. And, but... Overall, you know, I've never had a problem with any of the police. Mm -hmm. um, and just thinking back in like recent memory, and I say recent memory, like 15 years, mm -hmm. I don't really, nothing like jumps out at me that's like a police story. Mm -hmm. You know, like. Here's something scary that I worry about is I was with um, somebody that asked a police officer what the stipulations were to become a police officer. And the response was, you need a high school diploma. And those are the people that they're sending out with guns in America. So it's like, you could be anybody and become a police officer and have the right to, well, you could carry around a gun either way, but... America's crazy. It does, it doesn't make any sense. Like, um, but yeah, I, I mean, you have to have a college degree and a lot of training and in order to become a policeman, right? But yeah. yeah, they've had some rough patches in their history for sure. Right. I'm just thinking in Germany. I think the reputation is is probably not great. Um, but if I mean, my personal experience is if you run into them, um, they are very like nice. You, you know, they're very well behaved. And as you said, they, it takes a lot of training to become a policeman, often a college degree. Um, but the no, it doesn't. In fact, I almost want to look it up because, um, oh, I don't, yeah, I'll look it up later, but, uh, yeah, I don't think that's true. You don't need a college degree. Not here. <laughs> the other side of that is when there are protests, for instance, if you have like the right wing party, the NPD protesting, you all have like a way bigger crowd counter-protesting mm -hmm. and basically you have these two crowds and in between is the police who's just basically trying to protect them from one another and they often have to take the hit so um, you will have a lot of that going on and that's where um, you know the police is actually being confronted with a lot of violence um, and that's happening you know every couple of months usually I live in Hamburg and it's been recently there's been a lot a lot of fights going on in, in that city so um, they're being exposed to violence from that side, I guess. We don't protest nearly as much as y'all do. Like it's this, true. yeah. So uh, you'll obviously have that in in, in a protest, but yeah, it's because our protests um, <laughs> have guns involved. <laughs> also, I think our willingness to use rubber bullets and haze and <laughs> tear gas kind and, of shut the product uh, very early yeah, down <laughs> yes no, I, we don't have nearly as much pushback as like you'll see in germany because mm -hmm. people don't protest over stuff nearly as much it's true it's true yeah because we can't advice, when you come to the united states you run into police don't lie to them and don't run from them and if you happen to have a donut you know that's fine Just, yeah. you know, will they be offended a little bit perhaps huh? i would imagine so <laughs> okay well then don't do it <laughs> y'all take it easy Jeez. Donuts are not healthy. That was awesome. I really enjoyed that video and I've learned a lot. If you guys learned a lot, give it a big like and comment down below. Tell me if you guys have, any, have anything to add to it or just if you have a story. Uh, drop it down there and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye guys.